trimmer line on the Echo SRM225. This head, and I'm gonna put this on here. More of a professional trimmer head, and plus I put a 130 line on here, so pretty fat. We'll see how this goes. All right, to be able to take this trimmer head off, uh, is screwed down into a long screw that goes up into this to this uh, main shaft and what you want to do is line this hole right here through this opening on the shield there's a hole that's right there and you see where there's metal line that up perfectly with the hole that's beyond that and insert your flathead your flathead insert your flathead it could be a screwdriver too a small screwdriver and what you want to do is turn this to the right turn the trimmer head to the right because it's reverse threaded so right loosens it to the right left tightens it so make sure you know that when you try to take this head off so that you don't wind up messing up the threads inside the shaft so so line up the hose put your flathead in and then begin to turn this. Remember, turn to the right. There you go. Now you got the head off. Now you see this gasket right here, this flange, uh, just clean it out, get all the stuff out. When you get ready to put this back on, now make sure you get this flange, this connector, and clean it out at least a little bit. You know, This is from all the weeds that collected on this thing over time. All right. Now this will fall off, but Keep it on there with your thumb. Grab your trimmer head, your brand new one. Insert, and remember it's reverse threaded. So that means go to the left to tighten it. And be careful not to slap yourself with this fat line. <laughs> now, you're gonna have to tighten this all the way, so just keep going. And you have to tighten it down completely, so reinsert the reinsert the flathead back into the hole and continue to tighten it and hand tighten it only. Don't try to don't try to you know, put any too much force because it's gonna stay on there. And uh, it should be able to turn and not come back off, hopefully. All right, let's give this thing a whirl. attached and it works and uh, I can't wait to use it <laughs> all right two products I use the echo echomatic pro the trimmer line I had I took that line out so that I could put the 130 on there and but recommend it 0.95 but it can go to 0 0.130 and it actually gets kind of difficult to maintain it into the trimmer head so probably a 0.95 or 0 0.105 would probably work um, but it worked out really well and the trimmer head is only for SRM models so keep that in mind and I did get this from Home Depot the second part is this product uh, trimmer line uh, I bought this right from Amazon 0 0.130 uh, it works really good um, it holds up very well uh, I did use it and I'll do another video where I actually show how good this trimmer line really does work. But it gets the job done and it, it gets a really good clean cut when you edge. So, and especially on thick grass. So, 
Um, that's what I used. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, again, leave a like and subscribe.